Ali Machiavelli writes, There are so many directors in the movie world, and it seems like they all like to put a signature in the movies they direct. For example, Michael Bay's Explosions, Tim Burton's Gothic Style, etc. I understand they want to stand out, but do you think it's affecting the movies they're supposed to be directing? They should be allowed to use their style in movies they write, but not in the movies they don't. This way, the movie will come first and not be ruined because of their egos. Thoughts? Well, I don't necessarily think that them writing it has to do whether or not whether they should use their signature style on it. But I do I do get your point in terms of sometimes the style shouldn't over overcome the the actual story, you know? And that's kind of one of the reasons why I don't care much for Michael Bay because he has a signature style, right? And he doesn't care what the story is or what the scene in particular is about. He just does his style no matter what. And so one of his signature moves is like a, a 360 pan, right, around a, a character, yeah, which is fine if it's like a, a big moment they build up to and the heroes are about to go out into battle. He does it for everything. Yeah. Like in, in Transformers Age of Extinction, like Mark Wahlberg's just sitting on the farm and they're, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like for every, you can't do that for, for every single scene or every single scenario because then it loses weight because when you do it again later, it doesn't mean anything. And yeah. so I feel like directors should uh, keep their signature style but like kind of temper it and, and, and fit it towards whatever movie they're actually doing. A good example of that is uh, Martin Scorsese and Kundun. Uh, if you've ever seen that movie, it definitely has some of his styli stylistic techniques that he uses, but he tempers it down. Like he uses far less cuts he uses more dissolves a the steady cam work is a little more reserved so I, I feel like you can do that but just temper it down i don't know what do you guys think well it mm -hmm. goes back to what we were just saying though before with, with villanueva as far as there's the directors that you know and a really great director makes you go oh this is definitely one of his movies it's like it's an artist you know it's their movies but like you just mentioned with scorsese they're able to change it up michael bay would know how to change it up if he tried uh Tim Burton has has changed it up, even though a lot of times you know right away that he, and he was getting into that same the same problem where you just knew everything was just he was repeating. But that last movie, you know, the one with Christoph Waltz, Big, Big, Big Eyes, which a lot of people didn't like, but it was a different. It was different. There were a lot of things that he did that was different. He's done that before, um, so I think he is one of those guys that can change it up. It's a really good director is able to absolutely echo what Dennis just said, and that's. Let you know that it's his movie, but still show you some things different. And I think Tarantino is a great example of that. He always, even though you know, it's because a lot of times you know because of his dialogue as well too. But you know that the way he shoots ends up. Oh, this is a Tarantino film, but you always feel like you're watching something new. And I think Matthew Vaughn's another guy that does that does that as well too. Yeah, I mean, I, I sorry, I'm going to use a sports analogy. It's like a it's basketball coach. When you watch a Phil Jackson team play, they're going to run the triangle offense. Mm -hmm. But in that triangle offense, Michael Jordan. Kobe Bryant are going to have the freedom to do what they need to do. That means the other players and pieces have to make that up. Phil Jackson can't just overpower everything and just do everything. So I think it doesn't, like you said, Dennis, it doesn't always save it when there's a writer-director. I mean, I think whenever I see a Tarantino film, Paul Thomas Anderson, I was like, you could maybe trim just 10, 15 minutes off. <laughs> right, I mean, right. it's great. I mean, Tarantino loves his voice, and he has a beautiful voice, but it's like maybe just trim 10, 15 minutes off. And just because a, a writer and director are doing the same thing, it doesn't mean it's going to be saved because of that. Yeah, and also I think... <clears throat> Being a writer and directing a movie you wrote doesn't necessarily mean you you know get to do whatever you want stylistically. You know, if if Tarantino decides to write a period piece for some reason, he shouldn't have this over the top bombastic style when he's doing this period piece, unless it's like Pride and Prejudice with zombies or something <laughs> like that, and he's like killing stuff. But you, you know, 